Genero Studio for Report Writer allows you to create data models and report applications in C Sharp, Java, or PHP. In this video, you will learn how to configure the environment sets needed to code in C Sharp. Before you perform any of the configuration steps discussed here, you need to install and license Genero Report Writer and the Java SE Development Kit. You will also need to download and install the Microsoft SDK using instructions from the Microsoft website. Make a note of where it's installed as you will provide the directory path as part of this configuration. To configure for C Sharp, select Tools, Genero Configurations to open the Genero Configuration Management dialog. Select the .NET configuration in the Configuration Name section then, in the Environment Sets section, select Microsoft.NET. The Framework Dir and Windows SDK Dir environment variables are listed under the Environment Variables section. Select the Framework Dir entry and click the Edit icon to open the Environment Variable dialog. Set the value to the correct directory for the Microsoft.NET framework. It should already be installed in C. Windows Microsoft.NET Framework. Set the variable to the path of the latest version of the framework, then click OK. Note that 64-bit systems will have both a Framework and Framework 64 directory. Use Framework 64 for 64-bit systems. Now select the Windows SDK Dir entry and set the value to the path of the installed Windows SDK's NetFX Tools directory. For example, on this system, the path is C, Program Files, Microsoft SDK's, Windows, V7.1, Bin, NetFX 4.0 Tools. Click OK until all dialogs close. To verify your configuration, you will need Adobe Reader or a similar PDF Reader application. Set the .NET configuration as active, then open the Welcome page and select the Order Report C Sharp Demo Project. Right-click the Order Report C Sharp Application node and select Execute. In the form, select a report to display from the Report Combo box, keep Output As, set to PDF, and click Preview. The report should display as a PDF file. If the report doesn't display, you must identify the issue before you attempt to create your own report. Learn more about creating report applications by watching other videos provided in our training portal.